as I grew up in Chinatown, I think I always felt Chinatown was my home, even though I moved out to Maryland. Moving out to Maryland was more of an economic uh, issue in terms of attending college. But I think people should realize that Chinatown is a very important part of the city. It gives it character in a sense that just like in New York, you have uh, Little Italy, you have Chinatown. If you come to Washington, D.C., you can enjoy the food, the residents, you know, the businesses. It just adds another side to Washington, D.C., other than thinking of Washington, D.C. as just a federal government city. Chinatown now, it's a shell of what it used to be. Uh, nowadays, it's, uh, there's hardly any place to live around there. All the homes for the up and coming families are basically gone. All the big businesses taken over and it got to the point where a lot of the mom and pop shops are no longer can afford to operate there. So Chinatown is mainly like restaurants and maybe souvenir shops there now more or less. I don't know how, how long it's going to survive. People expect Washington, D.C., Chinatown to continue like a Chinatown, like New York, San Francisco, Boston. I must say, no, we cannot do it. Chinatown has to move on, and I always tell people, we got to modernize the Chinatown. We cannot stay in the pre-World War II stereotype of Chinatown. You look, you don't have a pigtail, I don't bang my feet anymore. So we cannot stay in, in that kind of, you know, era. We are not, we don't have the foundation money like uh, Williamsburg to preserve that that kind of historic uh, uh, town. We are not a city of port or entry, like New York, San Francisco, Boston. So we don't have the new immig immigrant come through Washington, D.C. as some of, some of the port city. We don't have the cottage industry in Chinatown. How can they, the new immigrant, come in and find a place to live and find a place to work. The people settled down in Washington, D.C. tended to be more intellectual among the uh, immigrant group. They came here to seek for the government employment opportunity, continue education. This is a city, it's unique. It's always going to be a more intellectual government city. Chinatown today is very, very small. We're not a physical Chinatown. Now we only occupy two blocks, whereas before we occupied maybe 20, 30 blocks. But Chinatown's still here in spirit because a lot of the people in the neighboring areas grew up here. They still feel this is home. So it's still a central point to be here in Chinatown. There's been a lot of developers coming through Chinatown. They built a lot of very, very expensive condominiums. There's a lot of office buildings because it's a hot spot now. To me, it's not a hot spot, it's home. It's, it's home where, where my nieces, nephews, grandkids will come eventually. I think a friend of mine once said that we're, we're not a real Chinatown anymore, we're a touchstone. But growing up here and this being part of my life, it's real to me. It's, it's not something physical that you see as like when I was little. So I don't think that we define Chinatown anymore as physical buildings or uh, businesses. You can't stop people from building. I kind of wish that they would build more as a community as opposed to just making bigger condominiums or more expensive condominiums. Uh, I think there is an effort to preserve part of the community, but the people doing the preserving are more interested in architecture than community.